And so here we have proud Venezuela and Venezuelans going to the supermarket and finding nothing. And this is contrary to many years ago, a couple years ago, in which you go to the supermarket and you get what you need plus. And so this is a harbinger of the end times. Because the Bible does say that in the end time there will not only be a famine for bread, but also for the word of God. So here it is, we can have, you know, no food and no religion. Now, many people might be looking down at Venezuela and looking down at other people and saying, oh, 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 look at them. But I'm saying, I'm suggesting to you that this is going to be worldwide soon. Uh, the world is on the verge of a stupendous crisis. Perhaps the greatest in history, perhaps the last in history, Ellen White says. She says this uh, scores of years ago, uh, over a hundred years ago. And it's coming, it's coming on right now. And as I look at this crisis, I think that uh, much of it is just artificial, but it's going to become real and hurt people seriously. But it doesn't have to be this bad. But just people are, you know, doing stuff that they don't even understand what they're doing. And when you try to help them, they hate you and they want to kill you. So, you know, just let them see how it's going to roll out. But the Bible does say that in these times, you can't buy or sell except as the mark of the beast. Now, I mean, do I see it as this? In this case here where this grocery store, and this may be symptomatic of most of the grocery stores in Venezuela, um, empty. But let me say there's just one that is stocked up. So the guy who owns all the money in the Venezuela could go and buy up the whole store and say, you know what, I can store this up for the next five years. Uh, the government might not be allowed to do that. I mean, they might give him some more than others. Perhaps if it's just one loaf of bread a day, he might be able to get two or three a day. But he can't get a hundred and buy up all and say, I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Um, because the politicians have to get to and the generals in the army and, you know, there are a whole bunch of high-ranking people. So the Bible suggests that the solution will be that they're going to um, say, if you don't have the market abuse, you can't get nothing to buy or sell. Now, people are saying that this is a chip and that um, certain governments going to implant it in the citizens and so on and so forth. But I don't think it's like that. Because um, I don't think it's something that you could see per se. Because right now people have the mark of the beast, but you can't see it. People have always had the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is just a mark, Satan's mark. And um, it is concluded the 666. But this was just to uh, identify the high man, the Antichrist. But not necessarily that you know it's going to be in the hand or the forehead of people. My understanding on Ellen White's uh, teaching is that uh, being in the head means that one has accepted it. And being in the hand would be those who will be enforcing it. So they might have it in the hand and head because they have to believe it to enforce it. Or some people might just enforce it because it's the job, which is hardly likely. Because on the other hand, you have the mark of God. God has a mark too. And his mark is going to be uh, the ones, those who have his mark can be the ones who are going to be subject to his providing. So that while people are fighting in the street for you know, a uh, couple of bones at the rich trout from buying some chicken and eating some chicken and so on. Um, those who have God's seal could be assured that they wake up in the morning and right in the house there's a sandwich, fish, water. God is going to take care of his people. So, you know, those people who have God's mark don't have to worry about this. No, not at all. But, um, so, it's not a chip that they're going to be placing in anybody's hand. And right now, as you look at the world, you can see a whole bunch of clungs out there. You can know the people who have the mark in the head and the hand. You know, they're, they're mutilating the bodies. When you look at the face, you can see they're, they're fighting themselves as, as if they're crazy. They're evil. And I think this is what is going to happen. They're going to be so possessed by the devil that uh, it's going to be coming out in their face. And those who are uh, Satanists also will recognize them and give them what they need. But God's people won't have Satan's sort of symbols or attitudes and therefore they're going to be discriminated against and so people this is venezuela time but maybe your time is coming up soon and um next year i'm just hoping to see what will happen next year i mean i'm not worried about nothing uh, my god gonna take care of me anywhere but it, but um next year might be uh, um, a year in which a little more gonna start getting in there because even saudi arabia saudi arabia was so uh, rich and everything else and then boys you know uh, bathing in oil uh, students overseas, government sending money, unstoppable. Uh, people don't have to work, they just show up, 
you know, get a job in an office, don't have to go to work, and just pick up a check at the end of the month, and so on, and free this and that. But the government does not come with sales tax and income tax and no foreign um, student, uh, pay, uh, tuition for students. And, and those only who have real jobs are going to be working and so on. So, you know, the world is the world is coming to a place now where um, all the doubters are going to be concluding that this definitely is the time that the Lord is returning. People are telling you, we've been hearing this thing forever. God is coming forever, forever. I don't believe it. Look, this is going to be the time of the No, 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 no. This one is going to be for real. This one is going to be for real. And um, I had some ideas that prevented this from happening a couple of years ago. But man, I tell you. You think I, I you think I was able to buy or sell uh, and, and, and get priority? Oh no, oh no, oh no! I got I got myself knocked up serious, um, you know, and so on. So that this time around, I'm just watching to see what's happening. I really out of the loop. I'm not even really studying, you know, what to do and how to avoid stuff because I mean, the longer the world continue, is the more injustice, the more evil people get in, the more brutal, the more everything else. And this thing got to stop. Jesus needs to come back and, and end this suffering and all these problems on this side of the grave. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the end time. This is it. It's 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 on. 